morning everyone. Welcome to a random day in our life. <laughs> We've decided to film basically just a full day today of what we're going to get up to and what it's like to live full time in a van around Europe. We've woken up this morning on a lay-by in Austria. We're around the Monsey Lake right now and it's absolutely beautiful. Obviously every day our view changes so that's why this is just a random day. It's not our daily routine or anything like that. Every day is different. I'm always the one who gets up first so that's why I've come out here to start off this video. Mitch is still asleep so I'm going to go back inside, get the coffee on to wake us both up. Good morning. That road's loud this morning, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you want ground coffee or beans? Okay. Oh, actually, you know what? I can't be asked. I was going to do the cringy thing of opening the door and then walking in the van, but I think people know that we've got back from the road. <laughs> Well, that definitely wakes you up in the morning. If you were following us when we first moved into this van, we said that we were going to be on a mission to get as fit as possible. So for the past four weeks, we've been going on a run, following a bit of a, a training plan. So uh, this is what nearly every morning's looked like for the past four weeks. One thing that we don't have every time we run though is a massive bath in front of the van. So I think that's something that we're going to have to take advantage of today. I've literally been psyching myself up for this whilst we were running as I just know that we should get in whilst we're here as today is probably the last day of this sunshine it's give 28 degrees today and then after it it starts to starts to go so we've got to we've got to get in but I just know it's going to be freezing Ooh. this may be too much information but I'm going to go in in the shorts that are running because then it's like washing them at the same time you've got to know these tricks to live in a van Oh dear. <laughs> Ow, this is short. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's cold. But that felt really good really gonna make the most of these last warm days before the winter truly starts to set in and living in a van takes a completely different turn oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I thought it slipped oh my god oh this is so nice oh that was unreal this is what happens when Mitch decides to come in and out of the van to turn the camera on and off. So it's boss. It's an actual mud bath. Oh no, it's going into the shower. Quick, no. quick, quick. Oh Mitch. <laughs> oh no. I need to wet this to then wet that. Well there's a puddle up there you can use the water from. This is the dirtiest I've ever seen before. Yeah, this is the dirtiest. Tell me the shine of having a nice, clean, brand new, brandly built van is a... Oh yeah, that's, that's way that's gone. Long gone. That's long gone. That's long gone. I'm still trying to warm up right now. It's literally boiling. Mitch, <laughs> we can be more opposite right now. Like, I can't feel my fingers still. But I'm just getting myself ready whilst Mitch dries outside and I'm going to make breakfast. We've finally made it to the time of year where all of the motorhomes and all of the people who sort of just travel for the weekend have gone away. And also with that comes the time where you also get away with sleeping in beautiful places like this. Like this sign says, you're allowed to stay here now until May next year. So yeah, that's unreal. As always, I've gone with the, the go-to breakfast of muesli, yogurt and fruit and to be honest it's it hits every time it's always really good oh it's so good I want to just show what the camera's on right now as our makeshift tripod 
we are actually going to be going to get some parcels today and people normally ask us how we get mail and stuff whilst we're on the road so we'll show you what that's like when we go collect them today and we've got some exciting stuff in there that I'm really looking forward to getting like a tripod Right, we're going to try them I'm excited for the vitamins You've got grass on your face Also if you've never seen these before we use them all the time because as you can see we've got a lot of stuff that needs drying so you just stick them to the side of your van wherever you've got sunlight proper handy little gadget right we're all packed up and ready to go we've got until two o'clock until i looked at the wrong hand then when i did that <laughs> oh man you can tell we're not very good at scripting these things but basically We've got until two o'clock to pick up these parcels. What time is it now? I'll check the right hand this time. It's quarter to 12, so we've got to cram in, yeah. Shoot. So we've got to cram in as much as we can between now and two o'clock on the way there. I'd like to say that in situations like this, we try to get out of where we're parked quite quickly in the morning. But since we've got this new, healthier morning routine that we're trying to stick to, the, de the, the morning just gets away from us. It's basically lunchtime. So the one pin we had between where we were to where we're going is this. And Mitch is really rushing me right now as we do not have long to see it. There seems to be a lot of steps. It's mad in this location where we are because in front of us you can still see the edge of the Alps and there's glaciers still on the top of the mountains whereas this way it's just flat plains and all that because of a bit of tectonic platage. <laughs> right, so now we really are in a rush. <laughs> Let's go. So whilst Mitch has gone to go find the parcels, we've been able to get here just in time. We're parked at a little car park, so that only means one thing. That it's time for me to make some lunch. It looks like he's got the goods. Hello. Hello. You got him. All good? Okay. Yeah, well that smells nice. Right, I'm actually buzzing about this because when we were building the van, we were getting parcels like every single day, multiple amounts. So it's like Christmas every single day. Whereas now we don't get parcels very often. Some of these are exciting, some of them not so much. So the two boring ones, but potentially not boring, we've got vitamin D supplements because we've always taken them ever since COVID. And then also got some magnesium because Martha has struggled with anxiety for a while and I've read good things about how supplementing magnesium can help with that so you're gonna give it a go aren't you? Yeah. So yeah two boring ones done. Martha's now got a silk, is it silk? Yeah. A silk pillowcase because she keeps moaning about having spots and apparently this is gonna help, I don't know how but yeah. I got some winter gloves look a little bit weird but they were six euros so can't complain and then two parcels left which were actually paid for by our patreons so if you're a patron of ours thank you very much because this allows us to make our videos better this just allows us to store our videos do you mind sorry and then our new tripod as you can see it's been opened because we bought it used to save like 20 quid. But yeah, that's sick. Just a quick representation of how quickly a van goes from being clean to messy. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't look behind me. <laughs> Just... <laughs> oh, anyway, we've got cheese pitters. I don't know if you wanted sauce on them, so. No, it's fine. It's just very hot in here. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, this is snazzy, isn't it? Whoa. That looks what? Professional. That is tasty. 
Right, no more phone smashing incidents, hey Martha. Nice. That's nice, isn't it? Happy? Yeah, buzzing. <sighs> There's nothing like having a cheap energy drink that makes you feel young again. They're terrible for you. Don't they just remind you of being at school though? It stinks. Right. Terrible. We've got a job now that I've been dreading and putting off for a very long time. Basically, these vans have got a very common issue that when you fill up the ad blue, the sensor that tells you how much ad blue you've got in your tank doesn't change. And then you get a warning and you go through a massive rigmarole of trying to get your sensor fixed. We have got over 2,000 kilometers left of range before the ad blue runs out, but I've decided that I'd rather fill it up in somewhere like Austria rather than the middle of Romania, where if it does go wrong, we'll be able to get it fixed at a better garage. That's the theory. So, we'll see. This is the main reason why I miss our old van, because it didn't have anything like this that can just mess up for no reason. This is painful. I'm breaking it. Proper breaking it. It's just you never know what you're gonna get on a normal day. Right, I was told that you should like give it a few minutes with your ignition on to see if it resets. It's not reset yet. Yes, it's gone up already. I think that's it, done. Easy as that. Oh man, I hope that's the case. Yeah, I think we're in the clear. Right, stress for no reason. Jesus, what fun. So the next thing on our agenda today was to do chores, which we didn't want to take up that much time today. It's just one of them things when you're passing through a place you use the facilities if they've got them and this place has which is great so we are just doing the whole toilet water situation I think that's it there's literally people on our bikes here and all they're gonna be able to smell is this holy oh my god that is you well, it's definitely never the nicest of jobs to fill up water and empty your toilet, but I must say, we're very grateful that there are places like this as we travel, because it means that we don't have to stay on a campsite. As the van is made to be off grid, so being able to do this means that we don't have to ever go to a campsite. And this was free, so even better. We're all done now, a lot sweatier, but at least we're full of water and the toilet's empty. One thing I have just got to say about our days living in the van is unless we stay put at wherever we're parked our days are never the same and that's something I had to learn oh my god there's a guy hello doing donuts on our tractor I have no idea I've completely lost my train of thought now and yeah, that's one thing that I had to learn when moving from a house into the van is that even though I try and meticulously timestamp and plan our day, you just can't do it. You just don't know how long things are going to take and what's going to hold you up. So now we literally just go with the flow. We don't know where we're staying tonight, so that's something now that we've got to plan and figure out. And yeah, just go with that. That's all we can do. <laughs> I'm glad that's only a once a week job because it's disgusting and takes forever but I found somewhere to stay now 31 minutes away it's gonna be a bit hit and miss it's the only one that I can find that's not on a car park so let's see yeah and if anyone's wondering if you don't know already we just use the app part for night and I think every single van lifer in the world uses part for night so well it's different in different countries isn't it I don't know. yeah anyway that's what we've used but now that we saw that that sign where we were at this morning said about that from 30th of September you could stay. I'm feeling like it's going to be a little bit easier slash more relaxed for if this isn't successful we could still maybe find somewhere at least. I think we've got ourselves a spot for the night. 
we've just come and parked up. It's just a little forest, like walking car park. The only thing is, is they are doing some work on this bridge that we've just come over. It is pretty loud. Don't know what they're doing. Mitch has gone down to have a look. It's not a problem. I just hope they clock off soon. <laughs> Let's have a look what they're doing. That's the world's loudest car washer. Get one. I hope they clock off soon. <laughs> That's what I just said. Was it? <laughs> so quiet. <laughs> I don't think the river's swimmable. No. It's really pretty here though. It's not like where we were this morning. You can't moan at this. But no, you cannot moan at this. Oh. Okay, so this is very exciting as I'm using the tripod for the first time. And I must say it's very fancy. Quite intimidating. And it's all set up, so I'm not gonna move it too much. But basically, we've got a bit of time between me making dinner and we're waiting for someone to move from where we want to stay tonight in the park car park in space next to us so i'm going to try and make my own hummus which i've never done before but then we were in the supermarket the other day and the price of hummus was quite expensive and then i just looked up how easy it was to make and it's very easy so i'm gonna give it a go because it's a lot cheaper as well and i already had tahini in from home let's see if we can do this together i'm gonna turn <laughs> Look at that. Turns. That's this is great, Mitch. Ah, ah. What the hell's going on? Chickpeas are going everywhere. Would you look at that? Who knew this was so easy to make? Look at that. Yeah. It smells good too. Tastes like hummus. It's a bit weird that it's not cold, but it tastes good. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Then people have just moved as I blended that, so we're gonna move there, and I'm probably just gonna whip up some tea for us now when we're settled. Away. As you can see, this van turns like a bloody barge. Oh, I didn't mean to press record then. I was trying out some new angles of the driver. <laughs> it's working great. I know. Look at this. What an angle. It actually is able to show the van better, I think. More like a true representation of what yeah. it would be like if you were like someone was sat there right now. This is sick. I was contemplating getting this tripod for like three days straight and now I'm buzzing about it. Yeah, how many YouTube videos did you watch? About six. <laughs> I've managed to whip us up a very weird but hopefully wonderful tea. I've gone for like a homemade butter bowl with barbecue chickpeas, couscous, salad, beetroot, cottage cheese, carrots, cucumber, all the works. And then Mitch, Mitch has gone for couscous, pork, chickpeas and a bit of salad with some balsamic glaze and sweet chili <laughs> yeah. we're all alone now the world's most powerful jet washer has finally left so it's <laughs> nice and quiet now yeah and i mean we've ate food and to be honest with you at this point in our day slash night we don't do much else so this is why we're ending the video now because all I'm gonna do is talk to my friend. Mitch will probably play his game. Yeah, Balloons Tower Defense is getting intense. So that's all we're gonna do and then we'll go to bed. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed spending the day with us and we'll catch you in the next video. Subscribe.